hello everyone welcome back to baking made easy with cool cakes now we're going to do our buttercream palette knife painting we have tools for this but should in case you don't have tools at home you can work with what you have these are my various palette knife yeah most people will find this in any baking shop and then i have this little one that comes in my sugar craft modeling tool as well as this yep the one that looks like this so depending on the pattern you want to do you can use uh, any of this to form your design so i have a various um cotton here gem set flower cutters this will help me mark where i want the flower and the kind of flower i want so all i have to do is just press it slightly and you can see the pattern there i hope you can uh, can you see that okay yep 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 that's the pattern yep and then i can go with the smaller one you can make that two and we go with the smallest one can we see all of that so i know it's white cake you know well, as we walk along you're going to see most of them coming out uh, make sure you have your sorry kitchen tissue with you you might want to be cleaning your palette knives and your tools as you work all right so I already have my colors tinted out here. This is um, burgundy, well, a light version of burgundy. And this is pink. Okay, I'll be working with both colors. Oh, all right. I'm going to try and find the, the comfortable position here, just so you can see what I'm doing. So we take, depending on the color you want to use, you just take that. If you've had your buttercream left down for some few minutes, you want to lighten that up. Okay. Whichever tool you choose to use, and just apply. Nothing serious, keep it simple. The two, the flower gem set has already helped us in placing our mark there. So this makes it a lot easy to do. Just lightly. I hope you can see that. Yep, it's coming together pretty much. Okay. So we have that. And then we take the pink we want to clean the burgundy of that i'll take the pink and apply the pink just slightly on top we want to give it a lighter shade Okay, I hope that is coming together nicely. Now, if you want to add a bit of darker shade at the edge, I could just uh, clean this, take my burgundy wilting, and uh, just touch it a bit and apply to the edge. I hope you can see this. Just apply to the edge. Just a little. Yep. Hope 
coming together pretty much and then we want to take white and just apply a bit of white at the middle there okay so there you have that uh, beautiful flower and then we take our green we want to form green leaves you can use um with this we would um, go with our straight nozzle just let's do this again just dot it all the way and dot it all the way all right and then we take our palette knife so yes the same one we've been using and just uh, apply it Just a little bit there. Okay, can you see that? And just a little more. So, yep. So let's do the other flowers, the smaller ones. Yeah, this is not comfortable, but I just want you to see what I'm doing here. Okay, we we'll take our burgundy just outside the flowers, just the tip there, just to give it a little bit of contrast. Okay. The smaller ones. Take our light pink and apply it to the middle. Okay. It's all coming together. All right. Do the same thing for the smaller one. And then we take apply our white at the center. So we do the same thing here as well. All right, I hope it's coming together for you, okay? And um, at this point, we're just going to do a little bit of um, brush embroidery. I'm going to bring out my brushes. We have various tips. Yep. You can see the various tips there. 
you're going to do a bit of brush and brushing for the leaves so you you might want to just pipe out what the leaf will look like as well as this well just dot it all the way sorry about that and dot it all the way and then you can do your swirls i hope we can see that okay For our leaves, we just want to do a bit of a brush and embroidery for the leaves. This is supposed to be facing me, but just to show it to you, I have to face you. So I'm using your leaf nozzle to pipe the leaves, and I'll take my brush and just try to push it out a little to get that brush effect for my leaf. Can you see that? Yep. So we can do the same thing. Yep. And here. So I'm using the brush, two pointed brush and just spread out the tip just a little bit. Okay. Do the same thing for this. Yeah, I hope it's coming together for you. It is from my hand, it's looking okay. All right, so we carry on to do the other part. So, the same process we did earlier, we do the same thing for the flowers here. Just uh, point it there, bring it in from the base. from the top now using the flower tool to mark your buttercream before doing this palette paint it makes it a lot easier and it controls your your your, your sketch should i call it that way yeah controls it for you so we just want a little yep yeah. Clean with your tissue, take your light pink, trace it from the center, Take your white, apply the white at the center just a little. And do the same thing for the smaller one. So we take our burgundy and uh, do our outline just like we did for the previous size. I hope we're seeing clearly.
So this is the two in one technique. The brush painting and the palette knife technique. So apply your leaf with your leaf nozzle. And allow the brush to do the work. Just a little bit of water on your brush and brush out. To get your leaves all right so there we go uh this is our beautiful design done using our palette knife and our brush okay this is called the buttercream palette knife technique and um, the brush embroidery technique all right uh, so any questions i feel i should darken the center a bit there so i'm just gonna take a little bit of the dark shade and just take it a little from the center yeah, on the big one there. Yeah, yes, that looks a lot better. Yeah, yeah, hope you can see this. Yeah, looking pretty. I look forward to seeing your work, man. It's not difficult, trust me. As long as you set your heart to it, it's very, very easy. You saw me just within some minutes, and uh, we're good. So, this is a beautiful cake. So, uh, Yeah, I know you were expecting me to say something. Do have a nice time and look forward to your practicals. Love you, if it's allowed. I don't know you. Aha, <laughs> just kidding. All right, enough of the joke. So thank you for watching. I look forward to your practicals. Do have a nice and lovely practical. Bye.